So, it's my first day off since Sunday, but Sunday we dedicated pretty much the entire day to going to my cousin's baptism. So, um, today I have some things to do, including taking a shower and wash my hair. <laughs> but I'm going to hold off on that for now because I need to get some things done. And I know I may not do that. So, ooh, sorry Bumper, I didn't mean to scare you. And Daddy has something to do. He needs to replace the toilet seat in our bathroom later tonight when he's home from work. That's my little setup outside. There's a welcome sign there too. You can't really see it. Because we're inside. There's my little babies. Hey, babies. My new record player holders. Aren't they cute? And I have Sgt. Pepper, and I actually have the original Sgt. Pepper's record in there. That was my parents. I'll show you. From 1967, I believe it was from. I think. 100%. I wasn't there back then, but I remember my parents playing it. I got this from Walmart. The case. And I got this from Walmart also, online. And... Let's see. Out. So this is the OG Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band record from the Beatles. And it is from 1967, I believe. Yep, I'm right. Mm hmm. This is an OG. I have a lot of OG records in you know, my possession. And I thought, how can you have the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Beatles record case without the record <laughs> and I'm like I have to put it in the front I have to so let's see if I put this back on right I like it did it come out of the things again probably I'll fix that later I don't know if you right now it came out of the things whatever um this is the cat's new toy <laughs> basket I got it from Kirkland's online and I got that pillow from Walmart. It's double-sided. I got it, I think it was last week on my day off from work. One of my days off. It was last Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. And that's my cute backyard. Some of it. I bought this swing online from, was it Lowe's? Yes, yeah, you all had to assemble it for me. That's my linen closet. This is our garage. I gotta return this medicine cabinet. I'm gonna try to do it today. That's one of the things on my list. I have to bring it to the FedEx thing. Please. Near where we used to live. Like right near where we used to live. Like literally right down the street from our apartment. And... Yeah, this is my linen closet. I have some towels in the wash right now. So, and I put this basket in there, so I was going to put my cleaning product in it, something in it to like organize it a little bit nicer, my extra products, I don't know, I'll think about it. And I got this custom made from Bad Bath Beyond online, our home. So when you walk in from the garage, or when you're walking in the hallway here, you walk in and you see our home. Oh. It's our home. It's very sentimental with us, so I figured I had a sign that says our home. Because it was like, there was holes on this wall, and it just needed something, so that's what I got. We have a cute little window inside, too. And this is our bedroom. Sorry, it's out of sorts a bit. So, figuring things out and organizing with Daniel's computer for now. That's his walk-in. I let him have the walk-in. Originally, I was going to take it, and then for reasons, I was like, you could have it. And this is more of our backyard. I love how there's so many trees. Mr. Owl fell over again. Mr. Owl. He was there when we bought the house. <laughs> the lady, the couple that used to own this place, the lady of the house left us a lot of nice things. There's the bridge. 
the grill I bought. She left this TV stand here, but we don't normally watch TV in the room anymore. I don't know why this was like this. Eventually, we might put a television in. These are my hair extension clips. <laughs> uh, ooh, hey, bumper. I still haven't given you sea treats, I'm sorry. The bed, the blanket is gonna go eventually. We just got this for now. And we're getting a new, we're getting a new bed, bed, bed. Like a bed, bed, bed. From Macy's as a gift from my grandma. And uh, I think Daniel's mother made that blanket that's on the floor, but he's like stuff again. And we're getting new night, um, night, what do you call them? Nightstands, they have drawers in them. There's, it's supposed to match our existing furniture, like these in particular. And we, Daniel did the left side, I did the right side. It's decorative film from Home Depot. I was gonna use the brand, or the company, decorative film. Decorative film. <laughs> Um, but it was way too much money for the size that I needed, so I did it through Home Depot instead. And I did the right, and then he trimmed it for me because... Although I got it to stick better than he did, it was sloppy. The way I cut it, so... He fixed it for me. A oh, Bumper wants to be in the video. Hey Bumper! I'm just showing everybody uh, Daddy's Closet real quick. So this is Daddy's Closet real quick. Definitely very masculine. <laughs> That's Kaylee's helmet. He was gonna get rid of it and I think he decided to keep it. Mm -hmm. Daddy's closet. He took this, that was mine originally from our apartment that I had in the bathroom. And then I didn't really want it anymore, so he took it. Yeah, this is Daddy's closet. Definitely Danny. Hey, Bumper. I'll show you our bathroom real quick. Sorry, Bumper. Mommy's gonna walk. And we got the uh, skylight in here. Man. And. Sorry, my bathroom is a little. It's a bathroom. Shower. I'll show you what's behind it. This came with the house. We have one of these kinds. We changed the shower head, although we didn't really need to. But we just did. Eventually, I wanted to change this too so it matches, and that doesn't match. It's alright, whatever. And we were going to change the medicine cabinet, but the one that I bought that I have to return today. I shouldn't return today. It doesn't fit. It's way too big. Um, coming in here. Our living area again. Front door. The cats. This is just a coat closet. We keep our my um, Dyson vacuum in here too. And some games. I gotta wash this today. Oh, I gotta take the clothes out of the dryer. Put them um, on top. Put the stuff in the dryer, uh, the wash in the dryer. A lot of laundry to do. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess right now. We keep the cats. There's a litter box in there. This is my kitchen. I'm about to make some breakfast. Still a little unorganized. Still getting situated in here. Eventually, Daniel's gonna paint this like a very light blue. The lady left the this mat or whatever rug on the table and the chairs and that light for us. The God bless America is mine. The thermometer is mine or Daniel's actually. <coughs> that black thing over here on the chair. That's my grill cover. We're gonna get a new fridge eventually and probably move this into the garage. There was another fridge in the garage when we first saw the house, but it's gone and that's not a problem. Because we needed some work anyway. 
This is Daniel's daughter Kaylee's room. Her bathroom. Her little linen, linen and toiletry closet. And this is my office. Um, my, um, I had ordered, originally I ordered an executive desk, but it was not going to be able to fit through this little hallway crevice area here. So I had to return it to Wayfair. And then I ordered something else that was much smaller and more practical from Staples, but that's delayed. It's on back order or something, and I'm really annoyed about that. So, um, this is what I have for now. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and then I have a closet here with some camera equipment and things in it. I need to get a, a, a bag holder or something, something to hang some things better. things I don't usually use. And the cats are always trying to get in. I still gotta organize things and figure things out. We were gonna make this into a guest room as well, but the room right now, there's no room for that. I don't know if we'll be able to do that ever. I need to have my office, but we'll see. One step at a time. I would really, I don't know, like to Get new furniture. I don't know, something. Something. Hey Bumper, you really want your sweet treats? Even though Daddy got you gave you breakfast before he left for work. Mm -hmm. And I get to watch people come and go and my weird neighbors across the street and next door. While I'm working or in my office. Fun time. <laughs> Fun times. Right, Bumper? Right. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. He was not prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bumper. Daniel just got that clock yesterday from Walmart. And... Heard like a not like that, but like a knocking kind of sound. I don't know. Yeah, that noise. Someone's hammering something. I don't know. Banging on something. One of our neighbors down the street, I noticed. Do construction. The guy next door owns a construction company, also. People across the street are strange as heck. There's always like several cars across the street, I'm just saying. Several cars across the street. And I looked up the house and they only have two bedrooms, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And it's smaller than our house. Our house also had an extension put on previously. But still, two beds, two baths. And it's smaller than this place. Where are all these people staying? And then... I don't know. Daniel calls it a circus. <laughs> and I don't disagree. And then... All of a sudden I saw people moving in. And I'm like, are they like... Snowbirds? Or the opposite of snowbirds? I don't know. And then there's a strange situation going on across from us. Where there's like... It seems like there's two couples who live right across the street from us. Whoopsies. Two couples, maybe? Children. And both people, both households, park on their lawns when they're all home. I don't know. I just don't know. I can't tell you. Very strange situations. And the guy next door parks his truck on their lawn also because... Mm-hmm. And his wife looks like a Karen. 
And the people across there wear that black. I think that's a Mustang. They have a Stanford and Son. Stanford and Son red truck. It's not there right now, though. I think they took it. They're cool. But these people right here and right there are very per tip. What do you call them? Excuse me. I only have one cup yet so far today. Very, very peculiar people. <laughs> the one where the white car is. Daniel says the circus there. And I saw a really little guy come out of the driver's seat yesterday after they were holding up traffic, pulling over on the right. I don't know. It was just a weird situation with the other cars behind them. And while I was working from the sides of my eyes or my, perif my peripheral view, I saw. <laughs> And it was a guy, a man and a woman. The woman was the passenger and the man, I think it was a man, was like really, really short. And I'm like, are they a midget? No, they can't be a midget. I don't know. And I told Daniel when he came home last night, when we were talking, and he's like, it's a circus over there. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> it's a circus. I love the high ceilings in here and the living area. It's, it's amazing. Daniel took that photo. Haley painted that photo. My grandma framed it because she thought it was so cool and it needed a fancy schmancy frame. And that's just some picture Daniel got off Amazon. And that boat there, his grandpa built. And this one he bought, I believe, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eventually we're planning on putting our, uh, well at least I'm planning that Daniel puts our Christmas tree over here. But I was like, but it can't block the picture of my mom and her dog Dixie. So he's like, maybe we can get a skinnier one. And I was like, yeah, that'd be nice. So if you could find a tall, skinnier tree to put in this area, that'd be nice. And we'll just move his telescope somewhere else and this light probably over there or I don't know where, somewhere else. Somewhere else, we'll move it. We'll make it work. Right, Bunny? You can always put this in the garage. Put this by the door. If it doesn't hit the door. Or put, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That in the master. I don't know. I don't know. What do you say, Bunny? She's like, I want some sweet treats. Is that what you came for? Hey, Munchkin. My little monkey. I call them every kind of animal except for the cat. I was like, whenever you go to the vet and the vet calls you a cat, we're going to say, no, you're a puppy. You are mommy's puppy. 